My name is Helmut Zapf. First of all, now I start talking about my solo pieces in chronological and instrumental order. My first solo composition was for organ. During my study time as student for church music in 1976. The piece is simply called Toccata 76. Then, in 1978, I wrote a fugue A.S. for organ, a 12-tone composition with the notes A and E flat, as the beginning notes of the 12-tone series. A means A for Arnold and E flat for German letter F, the first letter in the word Schönberg. This piece was formed in 1979 by the Choral Toccata for Organ, You, O oh God, I Want to Sing. Both works were written for college from my study time for their exams. After studies for church music, I stopped to write pieces for organ solo for 10 years. After my organ studies, I began to write more and more for other solo instruments, to research other instruments and the playing techniques of instruments. So, in 1981, I began the piece Singing the Man for Flute. Singing Man for Flute. It is a piece about the sculpture of the same name by the German sculptor. Ernst Bauer. During this time I was very inspired by Bauer's sculptures and his literary works. His art was burned under Hitler and was called Generate. The solo singing man I revised in several times the final version was ready in 1983. The sculpture singing the man is a person simply sitting there with a happy luck and open mouth and in a rocking posture. This it was attitude that I inspired for a composition. The rocking of intervals, switching between major and minor thirds. All this became the basic compositional idea, including singing in an instrument, of course, which the flute is particularly suitable for. In 1985, I started my first electroacoustic composition, a composition in which I worked intensively with the sound material from a solo instrument in a studio. Back then, I used tones and noises of a trombone. In this time, I was a church musician in Thuringia and a master student at the Academy of Arts, Berlin. Of course, I was inspired by the electroacoustical works by Georg Katzer, my teacher for composition at the Academy. My main aspect was to research the material, to change the sound material, to design in such way that a new sound quality was created, that one could now recognize what the, rec what the original material was. It should be a transformation. I have done this then in a new electroacoustical studio at the Academy. The first electroacoustic solo work called Wandlung was premiered in 1985 in Bourges in France. Then 1986 I met Johannes Bauer, one of the best free chess trombonists in Germany. I heard sounds from him on his trombone that reminded me of my work in the studio 
and I decided that I would transform my solo work one clock back into a piece with solo trombone and an electroacoustic playback. I wrote a solo part for trombone and added my solo piece one clock as a playback. All what I had to do with the playback was slight changes, cuts and breaks in the electronic studio again. One Clone with Trombone Solo also premiered in Poland in 1990 during the Warsaw Autumn with Johannes Bauer. With this solo composition One Klungen, a new process arose in my compositional work order. I wrote several works for solo instruments and playback, recalled and tape. Always the same intention, the same idea and the same composition principle. I worked in a studio and only I used sounds from the respective solo instrument as sound material. So I continued to research various instruments and their acoustic characteristics, characteristics, or the characteristics of the sounds from noise to tone. The next work was for harp and tape, with the title Abeccio. I edited the material for the playback first time in 1988 in the studio of the Swiss Center for Computer Music in Zurich. This time I was able to analyze the material of the harp digitally. Still raised very slowly, but it works. I could research overtone and other properties such as attack time, sustain time, decay time. Now I want show you a few pieces, I won't tell you a few pieces, uh, what I have in the same work process done in the next year. The same idea about electronics, about solo piece. Pieces with playback, pieces with playback, the playback as refraction, broken sounds from respective solo instrument or a solo instrument with live electronics. It comes a little bit later. Following pieces I have created with electronic. Two to one in 1990. For sopran saxophone, bass clarinet and electronics with one player. Concertino for accordion in 1992. Canzone in 1994 for percussion and electronics. Strumento del Arco for violin and electronics, also 1994. Canto del Aria for oboe and electronics in 1995. Ombre per organo for organ in 1997. Nachtmusik called Nocturne for a culture and electronics too, Albedo for flute and electronics, Albedo II for violin and electronics, Ombre per organo II, the second piece with Ombre title, Randspiel for percussion and electronics, Baustelle for an actor and eight channels. Lydia for violin and electronics and circle in a square for violin too and electronics. So now I want few pieces from this you explain a little bit more then I go to the pieces without electronics. In 1990 I wrote the piece 2 to 1 for soprano saxophone, bass clarinet and playback. The instruments are performed 
with one performer, one musician. Here came the idea by the chance of my country. The chance or a change. Two states merged in one state and two instruments are merging in one music line and two sound levels, playback and instrument, merging also in one level. That was the idea and I tell a story about come together. Another piece from my list is in 1994, my first work in the studio of Heinrich Strobel Foundation of the SWR in Freiburg. Here I composed my first drum kit solo with live electronics for bass drum and live electronics. I worked for bass drum first time, only a solo piece. I worked together with a student of the musical school in Freiburg. So I had a lot of time to try and to make experiments. This work is of course built differently because it does not use a playback but live electronic processes. I used only few rhythmic effects for this work with the bass drum because my aim was to explore the sound of the bass drum. It should be not a typical percussion piece with a lot of rhythmic. During the performing, filters are used whose sound bands in the delay, in ring modulation and in transposition form a dialogue with a drum playing in the concert in real time. A music from different sound levels was created. A kind of melodies come out from the drum sound, a kind of songs are developed. Therefore, the name of the piece is also Canzo. <clears throat> In 1997, I dared to write a piece for organ again, now with playback. I also used a playback with electronics for this, but in this piece, electronics are used as shadow. No communication between organ player and playback. Hence the title of the work, Ombre per Organo, Shadow of Organ. The organist does not have the communication with the playback tape. The playback comes very quietly, very randomly from a corner in the room. No could understand first that is a playback. So and when the organ becomes quieter and quieter, the play becomes more and more clear, but not louder, always like a shadow. A shadow merges from the sound of the organ and remains alone at the end of the piece. This work does not need large loudspeakers for a large sound. A small cassette player from a corner of the church or concert room that only sounds like a shadow is sufficient. The sounds that come out of the cassette player are first organ chords, then it changes more and more into poor electronic sounds. For the first time, a solo piece by me ends with poorly electronic sounds. The organ has got a shadow, and the end it is a strange and lonely transformed and almost homeless remains in the room. The next solo piece with electronics was then in 2000, my piece Albedo for flute and playback. Flute player has to use piccolo, C flute, alto, basso and contrabasso. So all collection of flutes. This is a first piece in the series of Albedo, which is currently on the dance number 10. Albedo for flute and tape has the basic idea from the word, from the word Albedo. Albedo is a measure 
of reflection for diffusely reflection surfaces. This effect is particularly important in today's understanding of our climate change. Why and where and how situations of warming arise and are exacerbated by man-made. So I use the albedo numbers of different surfaces such as water, dark earth, forest, meadows, gray areas, snow areas, etc. From these numbers I built a dramaturgical system for the solo flute and for the playback. Also the change of instruments in the course of the composition from piccolo to double bass is organized by these numbers. The piece has a simple development from high to low and the accompanying change in tone, color from paper. Like the climate change on earth, so the colors of the music change from light to dark and dirty. Another solo work with playback is a work Spiel for percussion. For one player, of course. It is from 2006 and also it was performed in 2012 in Poznan by Alexander Tronskowska. Randspiel is the name of the festival in my church for contemporary music. My piece for solo percussion with the same name reverse to the idea of the festival. Randspiel is an outskirt game on the edge of something. The festival Randspiel is on the outskirt of Berlin in the local geographical sense, but it's also on the edge of normal traditional music in churches. That's what the title means for my festival. That is the idea for it, for the percussion piece. The title for my solo piece, it also means something constant on the edge. It means that the percussionist is surrounded by his instruments in a circle like outskirt. He is in the middle, around him, in a circle are his instrument. instruments. So he has to turn and move around to use all of the instruments, sometimes very fastly and suddenly, have to change his direction. But he also has to play his instrument extremely precisely, not at the normal playing positions but extremely at the edge from the instruments. The playback of electroacoustic sounds is another edge, another outskirt, around in quattro from the listeners. The listener should sit also around the form performer with him and with his instruments in the middle. First time a piece is organized from the title, but not only in music structures, also in performance structures and built in a stage picture, a scene. In 2009 I created an electroacoustic composition for an actor and electronic playback. The title Baustelle, Construction Place, is a place where the actor has to build a tower with wooden blocks for children. While he speaks freely the text from the Old Testament, the Tower of Babel, the music accelerated and plays over four channels around the building, side, around and around the audience. The actor speaks slowly, then faster and faster, until his words become a noise. It's too fast. He can no longer speak. The Tower of Language is overturned. The play ends with the performer leaves. Only mixtures of many languages from around the world can be heard from the playback. All of them tell the story of the Old Testament too. Language also starts 
slowly, then faster and faster. The sound get to a noise in the play deck. It get faster and faster until noises ends. It ends with a hard crash, with a collapse. Nobody can understand more anything. This is a music with an important scene. A good actor and good speaker. The next piece in 2010, also for electronic and solo instrument, is called Lydia. It's for violin solo in five parts, in five movements. First, violin solo, then electronic, then violin solo, then electronic, and last one is violin and electronic together. All things from my previous solo works are I use in this piece. Solo instrument, playback, electronics, and scene too. The performer has to place his parts in several places of the concert room. The piece has a duration of 35 minutes. The partita tells the life of Lydia. She was the first Christian woman in Europe and lived in Macedonia, today Macedonia was a place where she lived. She was baptized by Apostle Paulus. I tell the story about her life is it a part from the Bible and a part is fiction. Never a speaking is also a narrative uh, performance and it tells us about her. First time I used in this piece also live electronic software Max MSP. A similar work in the same kind with the important thing is in 2013 written for violin solo 2. You know, I like violin and string instruments very much, uh, and for electronics. So, the circle in a square is the title. Circle in a square. The name is Program. It consists of violin solos, poorly scenic movements and electroacoustic interludes. The violin player has to go in a circle. He plays his parts and goes slowly in the circle. The circle went more closer and closer. At the end, he is in the middle of the circle, in the middle of the stage. And in the end, he is frozen, he cannot more play. Then he has to sing. There's a new element. He sings, he sings and get his freedom back. Since 2010, my composition have ended with solo instrument and the playback. Electronics has not been so important to me when composing in the last 10 years. Perhaps also because technology makes effects and reflection possible more and more easier. And I lost the friction and effort in composing the curiosity and the search. Therefore, I devote myself more to traditional composition without additional electronics in the orchestra, in the chamber music and in solo. In the course of my creative years, numerous solo pieces without electronics were created, especially in the recent years. But first, an overview, overview from the important pieces without electronic. Tanzende Alte means Dancing Old Woman from 1988. Then organ pieces The Lord is My Shepherd, a sound description from 2001. Domine Basket Me, also a description about a psalm. Then a strong castle is our God, 
and sing to get new song sing to get new songs both fantasies for organ about Luther Chorale. Then sonnets for guitar solo, also my piano solo, my first piano solo, un verso per piano, la salita a Belecra. Next, eine etwas defekte Schauke, in English, a slightly broken swing for bassoon solo. Then the composition L for trumpet and flügelhorn for one player. David and Goliath in 2011 for accordion solo. Albedo 10 for piano solo. Ronto Concertante for accordion solo. Concertante Fantasy for organ solo, Landscape B, two movements for clarinet solo, and then Hymnus for double bass solo. So let me tell a few things about a few pieces without electronic. Un verso per piano, la salita a Belecra, in English, un verso per piano, to climb to Belecra. I have written my first piano solo in Italia, in Italy, in 2008, during my scholarship in Olevano, Olevano Romano. I was working on a new orchestra work but I also was riding bicycle a lot in the mountains of Italy. I absorbed the impressions of the landscape, of the people in their marketplaces, in their villages with my eyes and ears, listened to their conversations, an infinite number of impressions. But the strongest impression remained from constant up and down the mountains. So slowly approaching goal uphill and the air noise of the descent and the wonderful views from above all the cities and landscapes. So I decided to collect my impressions in a solo for piano because I had never written a solo piece for piano. That was a big challenge for me, because the piano was never my favorite instrument in terms of sound. My favorite instruments are violin and all string instruments. So I wrote the piano solo with the title Awares Piano to rise or to climb to Belenka. Belenka is a small town in Italy, very high in the mountains, and it was the next place seen from my apartment. It was the highest place in this area. First, I always had to ride up to this town, and then I could ride into the surrounding countryside. The piano solo is characterized by extreme rhythmic features to move upwards and then move down again very quickly in the presto, always crossing the pianist's hands so that the risk of cycling and the level of difficulty for the pianist is extremely and virtuoso. Suddenly there are stops, a pause, rest, melodies emerge, and then onward journey, the virtual structures downward and the difficult upward. Let me also speak about the composition L. It is for trumpet player, 
and is written for a workshop at the Hans Eisler Music Hochschule, a workshop for contemporary music with trumpet. Here again the narrative element. Again, I tell the story about Lydia again. You know it's about Partita for violin. Lydia from the New Testament. But L means even more. It also means lips, laughing, air, love, desire. In German, all words are written with L. All things that our lips like to do. All things that we cannot do without lips. The piece is for trumpet in C and flugelhorn in B flat. The performer has to play both instruments, also hold both in both hands and play in rapid sequences. Constantly new transposition in the performer's brain, constantly new lip pressure through two several instruments, constantly change the sound, color from the piece. A very virtuous piece between melodies and noises. Another example is from 2011, David and Goliath. Again, a narrative piece, solo work with the theme of the Bible. This strongly narrative element dominates the piece. You know the story about David and Goliath. The idea for the piece came on the special occasion of the 50th birthday from Gerhard Scherer. He is an important accordionist and teacher for accordion in Germany. After his stroke, he was looking for pieces that would fit to his motor skills after the stroke. Therefore, the piece is technically not so virtuoso and difficult to grip, but it is a great challenge in terms of content and sound. The interpreter has to understand the hidden fighting strategies between Goliath and David, be able to emphasize them musically in the smallest motifs. The weak, the light and delicate moment moments, they stand against strong, dark and loud moments. Now last one I will speak about my piece Hymnus. Now the piece Hymnus. Hymnus is a prayer. This solo piece for double bass, it follows the words of Psalm 137 by the waters of Babylon. At the beginning I used a diminished chord with pizzicato in abeccia. That symbolizes the lyre, which is mentioned in Psalm in verse 2. I read, On the willows there we hung up our lyres. This lyre intonation remains in my piece until bar 8. From bar 9, the first lamenting song begins. These are verses 3 and 4 in the psalm. I read again. For there a capture is required of us songs and our tormentors mirth saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's songs in a foreign land? I use the beginning notes of an old melody from an old choral and den Wasserflüssen Babylons at the river of Babylons, which Bach used very often and interpreted. The choral has following beginning notes B flat, C flat, B flat, G, B flat again, A flat and G. The seven notes are the motif. We find this motif clear in the composition in measure 12 until 14. 
Up to bar 24 there is a variation of this choral motif. This variation symbolizes the four verses 5 and 6 from Psalm. I read again. If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget its skill. Let my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Verses 7 and 8 represent the other bars up to bar 47. I read again the 7 and 8 verses. Remember, O Lord, against the Edomites, the day of Jerusalem, how they said, Lay it bare, lay it bare, down to its foundations. O daughter of Babylon, you has to be to destroy it. Blessed shall he be who repays you with what you have done to us. For this I use a new kind of variation for the melody by a polyphony of the open string from the double bass, like the open strings of a lyre. This is followed by a short kind of a reprise with pizzicato in bar 47. But before and after the reprise, the reprise in 47 is very clearly audible the bending of the double bass notes, like a weeping and lamenting. In measure 57, verse 9 of the psalm will prepare it. I read, Blessed shall he be who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rock. With a last transition in two parts, from bar 57 to 60, the motif of the chant comes back. Now the motif is strictly counterpointed in two voices. This is followed by a stringento with ascent and overtones reverberations, which leads into an aggressive macanto beginning in bar 71, shows the shattering and destruction of the Babylonians, a dangerous change in hateful prayer. At the height of the hatred it sounds the low string E in bar 83. Everything dips over into a delicate version of a third harmonic. This harmony leads once more into the motif of the chorale, bars 87 to 89. And from bar 96 to the end, an ascending scale leads from the depths upwards, like from bondage to freedom, like from hell to heaven. This ascending letter is shaped by the interval structures of the choral motif too. Then on the fresh F sharp and D sound overtones, the pieces fades away and peacefully with a high fading noise sensitivity. So I think this brief description of the solo makes it clear how important the narrative structure is for me, how I use it to create and research serial properties of my music parameters. If I compose this intensively and consistently, yes, of course, then this narrative becomes music and the music then carries itself alone. The music is also understood understood for itself. In other images, also without the previous knowledge, and without knowledge of the psalm, and knowledge of the Quran motif, all things were changed into music. The idea becomes material, the material becomes sound and music, becomes a prayer, and also a prayer for whose who do not pray. Thank you.